Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do my nails again. So I've removed my old design and we're gonna come in and do a infill with the clear acrylic and I've chosen one of the new glitters called Whisper. I fancied a really kind of simple but glitzy nail set. Since I'm using my non-dominant hand, I wanted something easy and fast. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. back, back. Okay, so I'm coming in with Whisper, like I said, that gorgeous iridescent nail glitter. Obviously, I'm going to be using my clear acrylic to pick up the glitter and apply it to the nail. And I also wanted to use these baby pink and baby blue 4mm flowers. They are absolutely freaking stunning. And since I'm about to give birth soon and we don't know whether we are having a boy or a girl, I just thought it'd be cute to do kind of a pink and blue set just for the fun of it so that's what i've decided um i'm going to be using the number 12 pastel pink aqua brush we have this available in size 8 10 12 14 and i think 16 as well um but yeah be sure to link those and everything else that i'm using in the description box if you want to check it out you can go ahead and do that i've already like i said removed my old acrylic design filed shaped well, I say I've shaped, I haven't like completely shaped the nails because I'll do that once I've applied my design But I've cleansed everything with my safe scrub and I'm just coming in with my Pro Bond Acid Nail Primer So you just want to apply your primer to the natural nail that is exposed It doesn't need to go over the acrylic because obviously that's already attached to your nail We are just priming the natural nail so that the new product can stick to it really well so for my base or my cover powder, I'm going to be using pure pink and also guys, you guys are going to be shook to the core. I decided not to apply any clear underneath the pure pink because I, do, I just thought I'm probably going to just infill in the pure pink again anyway. And plus it's quite a pale colour so even if I didn't, I wouldn't be too fussed. So I just come in straight in with the pure pink cover powder as the cuticle and I'm going to do that on all of the nails and um, like I said I wanted something simple something easy because I'm using my non-dominant hand and then I'll do kind of a fancy design when I come to infill my other hand which is almost ready to be done well it is now it's been like two and a half to three weeks and I'm kind of ready for something different so definitely look out for that video when I decide to do it hopefully I get chance before a baby arrives I have got three weeks left from this point, but you just never know. So yeah, we've applied our cuticle bead and we've blended that down the nail. I'm then applying a bead kind of where the free edge is just to mask that area. I'm then blending that down the nail and up the nail just to give me a kind of a platform for the glitter to blend up to. I didn't want it to be like super clear all the way up the nail. I wanted that free edge to be disguised as such. So yeah, that's why I'm using the pure pink over that area as well. I'm just zooming in a little bit so you guys can obviously see a bit more. <laughs> I'm trying to get this kind of hand and keep it filmed is, is a task, I'm not going to lie. Um, but hopefully you guys, well I can clearly see that you can see what I'm doing as I'm editing. Sometimes it just feels like I'm a bit all over the place though, but yeah, kind of is what it is. So I'm picking up my glitter with my clear acrylic. I just moved my glitter over to the other side because obviously I'm working with my left hand. So when I'm picking up, I was kind of crossing over and it was annoying. So I've moved it over to the left side as well as the monomer and obviously the clear. I just dip into the clear a tiny bit and then into my loose glitter, which picks up the product. And then I just apply that onto the nail and obviously pat that product out, smooth it out to how I want it. You don't want to leave it bulky or add any thickness because we are just adding the design again. We are going to be coming in and encapsulating everything so it's purely for design purposes only. 
I also wanted to let you guys know as well that the new cuticle oil scents that I'm launching will be available on Monday the 27th of March at 12 p.m. UK time and I'm so excited. We have five brand new delicious scents. They are absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, Yeah. So they will be available in the pens and also in the jumbo desktop bottles as well so hopefully you guys will grab some of those if any of the new scents um you know take your fancy they are freaking delicious they've got lavender and geranium peppermint and eucalyptus mint and jasmine vanilla and candy floss and oof, delicious not too overpowering either like I know when when you mention kind of vanilla or candy floss, it seems like Ooh, it's going to be a bit like too much, but they're not they're quite ca kind of subtle, just really gentle but sweet scents. I love them. I love all of them. <laughs> um, the lavender and geranium one and the peppermint and eucalyptus, probably my favourite out of these ones that we are launching. Um, yeah, absolutely love them. So they are going to be available on Monday at 12, which is a very exciting. So I'm going to carry on with this set. It's pretty basic. Like I said, I'm doing the same on all of the nails. I just don't, didn't want to do too much. You know, um, when you just don't want to do too much, you want to keep it simple and basic. That's kind of where I was at. I thought I always go crazy like with my non-dominant hand trying to do all these exquisite designs and yes it is possible yes I can do them but at the minute like heavily pregnant feeling sick most of the time like I'm not wanting to sit there for hours on end I just wanted to bang a set out as quick as I could that still was fancy still was you know glitzy and glamorous but didn't take too much kind of technical or the technical difficulty level wasn't high. I wanted it simple, quick, easy, just something I could whack on and still feel fabulous. And let me tell you, I've got these nails on now as I'm editing. I do. I feel fabulous. I love them. They are cute as heck. And I definitely made the right choice because as well, sometimes, well, as I've been pregnant and I've tried to do kind of these fancy nails on with my non-dominant hand, I've been like not very obsessed with them and just completely annoyed to be honest i've been like why have i just spent all my time and done that and then i'm still annoyed at how they look it's because i'm just not in the zone at the minute like with feeling sick or nauseous or being physically sick or just getting kicked in the ribs while you're trying to hold your hands st steady um, that's happened a few times, quite a, quite a lot, because my elbow kind of rests on my bump and it's like boof, and then my hands are all over the place. Quite funny really, but yeah, that's why I'm choosing to do something simple. But I know you guys love watching all different kinds of nail art, like, and, and I suppose it, it kind of fits everybody's level. Like, not everybody wants to do all the super extravagant, wild, it's going to take you six hours to get through this kind of nail art <laughs> we just sometimes need that basic set that's going to look fabulous and it's going to be achievable no matter your kind of skill level or how far you are in your nail journey sometimes it's nice to have those basic or simple sets as well so yeah this is kind of the basic design that i'm going for you can see how beautiful it is it looks so cute again in my mind at this point or kind of when I was a bit further along I was like hmm I suppose I'm keeping it quite simple so once I've encapsulated these I could always add some hand painted nail art that's what I was going that was after all the decision making and toying with the idea of just doing a simple set that's where my mind took me and I was just like stop you better stop and listen to what you said originally and stop making this hard for yourself because we don't need to use our non-dominant hand to add anything to these nails they're going to be fabulous as they are <laughs> um, and I'm glad I did not 
add anything and I didn't hand paint anything because I'm going to do that on my other nails um, when I use my regular dominant hand and I've got time and patience at the minute I'm just the nausea and the sickness has returned so I'm not really wanting to kind of sit there like even just doing this voiceover is a little bit you can tell the way I'm talking I think I can definitely tell I'm like stopping and swallowing a little bit more to get like this excess saliva and sickness it's horrible <laughs> um but yeah I'm getting through it and I cannot wait to just be back and be on fire probably not for a few weeks though <laughs> Having a newborn is not easy. It is tiring. It's exasperating. It is also fun and amazing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Super chatty. Super. I don't know. I don't know what else to chat about. Let me know what you want to know. I'm gonna maybe do a Q and A. Don't know how to do that. Instagram is dead at the minute. I swear to God, I don't even know why it exists anymore. It is just not the place to be. Um, nobody seems to be seeing anything or interacting. I don't know. So I don't know if I can do a Q&A on my community tab on the YouTube. So I might just like do a post there, like Q&A, leave your questions below. Ask me anything, whether it's like product related, nail related, family, home, baby, learning things, any tips or things you want to know. And then on my next video, I can probably upload like a chatty answering the Q&A whilst I do my nails, which I think would be fun. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that'd be good. I'd enjoy that. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever done a Q&A or I might have, but years and years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying the flowers. These flowers are freaking gorgeous. We have them available in holographic purple as well. And then we also have, I think they're a three millimeter flower, but they are like an Aurora clear iridescent. And they are bloody stunning. Like they'd go with any color. Um, but yeah, I think these are also perfect for a spring and even a gender reveal set like if you were having your baby shower and doing a gender reveal i don't know if you do a gender reveal and a baby shower at the same time i don't even know if that's a thing or if they're a separate occasion i i think they're a separate occasion let's just go with that but yeah bash them in one week and you've got the nails for both <laughs> um definitely could be cute gender reveal nails or a baby shower nails um with the pink and the blue i think they just look cute so i'm just observing here let's let's just see how close we are you can see that that i missed a little bit of glitter on that side so what i'm gonna do is just add a little bit more product there So yeah, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that glitter just with some clear acrylic, smoosh it in, fill in the gaps, making sure I've not missed anything. Um, super simple to do, better to check now than cap everything and I think, oops, I must have been, I mean you wouldn't really tell since the colour is so light anyway, you probably wouldn't, you know, see it unless you were really, really looking for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I finished off the other pinky and then I capped my thumb. So we're gonna go ahead and encapsulate the rest of the nails. I think I'm just gonna show you one on camera and then cap the rest off screen because um, it is the same process obviously for each nail. So I'm just picking up a medium bead of acrylic for a count of two. This is how it looks and then I'm gonna place it on the nail, making sure I'm in frame. <laughs> Allow that product just to settle a moment and then we're going to come in and work that product down the nail towards the free edge and that's going to give us a nice capped area for that portion of the nail. Then we can come back up to the cuticle area and encapsulate that bit which then will blend down into this bead that we've already applied. Um, you can do it in three stages if you like so you'd apply a little bit of a smaller bead just further down do the edge of the nail, come to the centre of the nail, blend that down and then come to the cuticle and blend that down. Just depending on how you prefer to work is how you are going to apply your clear acrylic when you encapsulate. 
if you didn't already subscribe as well guys i would love if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are subscribed and you've been subscribed for a long time thank you very much for always tuning in and checking out my videos please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below also go ahead and check out my community posts kind of tab um and i'll like i say i'll leave my q a post on there probably leave it up for maybe a week and then let you guys get your questions in so i've got time to answer them and get them filmed and all of that good stuff and then up for you guys because i think that'll be really fun uh, but yeah coming in and applying the cuticle mode so i'm using the nail mate crystal clear acrylic which is from my website and it's the freaking bomb i absolutely love it just applying that cuticle bead and then like i said we're blending it down over the other bead that we already applied and that is our nail encapsulated we're going to go ahead and let that dry and then i'll file and buff these nails off camera and then i'll be back to add some nail art and of course add our super gloss okay so for nail art like i said i wanted to keep it quite simple I had all these ideas going around in my head trying to overcomplicate everything but like I said I'm working with my non-dominant hand I didn't want to go there so I decided I would just add some of these baby blue 3d flowers and micro beads and then some of the pink ones I'm not gonna be adding the gold um I wanted to keep it kind of silvery and white it's like with the pearls so I'm gonna just take the pearls and the silver beads from the pink ones and I've also got some micro beads in a nail art wheel as well and then I'm going to combine those with some pink opal and the light blue opal crystals which are just freaking perfect for this set. They literally went beautifully and yeah that's what I'm going to do. So this is how they look and we have these brand new um, crystal trays in on the website. They are freaking bomb. All the time when I was using crystals it used to just annoy me having to turn them all over or trying to find one that, that that was the right size that was the right way for you to easily pick it up with your crystal picker upper you know the wax sticks so these trays are freaking amazing you literally tip in your crystals shake from side to side and it flips them all over like yes please it's literally the best thing ever and i freaking love it and it just makes applying crystals so much freaking easier So to apply the crystals, I'm going to be using the Gem Glue Gel, which is the bomb. I freaking love using it. You can use instant nail glue as well, which is what I used prior to having this product available. But I find this just quicker. Um, basically, you can apply the gel and apply all of your crystals and stones and everything and then cure it rather than having to keep applying. But it's obviously a personal preference, whatever you fancy using. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and get the arrangement correct before I filmed it. So that's what I did with the pink one. This is kind of the look I'm going for. Just some cue around the cuticle area. And I only wanted to do a couple of nails. Initially, I was going to like do it on every single one. But then I was like, nope, let's not go there. Again, my brain just going on overdrive. Trying to do all the things when it really doesn't need to. Um, but yeah, I'm just using my wax bling stick, the like pokery end, what you poke things with, I guess. <laughs> um, and I'm just moving the crystals into position to where I want them. And then I cure that in the light for the full 60 seconds. I'm then going to come in and add some more of that gel, the gem glue to the thumbnail. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the flowers and the crystals on there as well. So where I'm applying the larger flower in the center i'm just adding a little bit more of that gel so that it can really sink in and it's not kind of laying up from the nail at any point do you know because that's the most annoying thing when you've got like a crystal or a charm and then every time you like run it through your hair or do something it gets caught on the sides it is 
the worst. So definitely, definitely fill out, fill out that area, whether you pop some gel in afterwards or before, but that's just a tip for that, to stop your charms from catching, just fill behind them. If I have really chunky charms, like the metal ones, what I like to do is apply them and then um, with clear acrylic, I'll just kind of fill around the back side of them so that they are flush to the nail and there's no kind of underneath bit to get into. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the blue crystals and the flowers and then add the pearls and the micro beads. And I think this is just a really simple, pretty look. Even if you just kind of had a French nail or a plain nude, like just adding these pink flowers and the blue flowers would be beautiful for, like I said, a baby shower, gender reveal, or just some spring nails. So I went ahead and flash cured that in the light and it's time to add our top coat. So I'm coming in with the Nailmate Super Gloss. This is our no wipe gel top coat and it's HEMA free as well. You guys love it, like freaking love it. I love it, you love it, everybody loves it. It's freaking bomb. It's also vegan and cruelty free like all of our system is and yeah worldwide shipping also is available i know not many people know that because i often don't mention it but yeah it is available um so definitely check it out the best way to check whether we ship to you is just to add a single glitter into your basket and then head to the checkout and see if it brings up a shipping option if it brings up a shipping option it means we ship to your area um, or location which you know is bomb hopefully that helps and makes it really simple um, but yeah, we're going to be applying super gloss and just, I like to apply it towards the free edge first and then I'll come to the cuticle area like, and get nice and close in there and then I'll quickly flash cure that and then move on to the next nail and then top coat that and we're just going to do that whole process. I do as well, guys, go over the top of these micro bead floweries. Um, I especially would, well I'm wearing these, but if I was going to peel them off, obviously I wouldn't have gone over them. Like if I had my peel off base coat, I just pop them off and that's the end of that. But if you are going to be doing them for a client, I would definitely seal over the top of the little 3D flowers and the micro beads. And then around the crystals, just to make sure that they are secure and on. And they're going to last, you know, the three to four weeks, depending on how long your client goes between their infill. Or how long you go between wearing your nails because nothing worse than losing a charm or a crystal it's just annoying i mean i never do i think that either the instant nail glue is the bomb for applying things like that but also this gem glue is also amazing and it really does cling on to things it's highly unlikely that you will lose anything <laughs> but i always like to be Precautious? Is that even a word? Cautious. Just cautious. Not precautious. I don't even know what that means. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so we're applying our top coat and then we're going to add some cuticle oil. But that is it for this really simple look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and let me know what you want to see next. I'm doing my other hand, so yeah. You gotta let me know. What do you want to see? Do you want to see acrylic colour blocking designs, ombres, glitters, cartoon, hand painted? Is there a theme in particular? Anything. Just let me know. Comment down below and I will just choose. I'll choose something from somebody and we will get creating together. Okay, so I cured my nails in the lamp for a full 60 seconds and I'm just going to be applying my cuticle oil. This is the new candy floss scent. Like I said, my new oils are launching on Monday at 12. And yeah, I'm just winding it up to release some of that product. And then 
applying to the cuticle freaking love 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 our oils are all handmade we make them in small batches to make sure the quality is always consistent and on point and they are vegan and cruelty free as well so yeah apply around the cuticle all the way into those sides making sure you get all that skin i also like to apply some under the nail as well but generally once i've finished filming i'll apply my cuticle oil show you guys the final results and i often go and wash my hands anyway and then reapply just in case i've got any you know nail filing nail dust anything like that on my skin you want to make sure that you are getting rid of all of that good it's not good stuff you don't want nail dust and everything hanging around on your skin <laughs> um but yeah wash the hands and reapply i just love applying cuticle oil anyway it just makes me feel like i've done my nail care and i'm doing my thing to look after my nail set that i just took all that time to create and it's really therapeutic it's just a small like simple task but it's just a nice bit of self-care that you can do just in a few seconds it doesn't take long at all but yeah so i'm just going to rub and massage that in and then show you guys a final look and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully tune it in for my next video whatever that may be <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll leave and list all of the products that i've used in the description box down below hopefully catch you on monday for my cuticle oil launch and as always thank you so much for watching and remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye see you later alligators